Hey, Frank Murphy here with my friend Ann McKinney on Morning in the Mountains. And thank you very much for coming in. We appreciate you here being here. Well, Frank, thank you for inviting me. I'm pleased to be here. Ann McKinney, you're an attorney at yes. law. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and for 40 plus years. And I also uh, have known you for many years as a writer and participant in the annual Front Page Follies, which lasted for 40 years. Yes. And not, not you weren't in for 40 years, but you know, the event did. And you would always write these funny parody songs about current events. Yes. Which kind of ties into uh, your profession as a lawyer. You're able to use humor to, uh, to sell the message of what we need to do to uh, plan our affairs. Right, Frank. I teach at the UT Law School and I give lots and lots of seminars from time to time. Yeah. And sometimes the law in estate planning and probate and other topics can be deadly dull. <laughs> and so I try to put to music something lighthearted to yeah. get the message across, but to do it in a way that people enjoy. Now, a lot of our viewers are maybe recently moved to Tennessee to retire mm -hmm. to the Smokies or just to move here because of the different advantages. I mean, I'm thinking of uh, a couple I know who recently left California. They knew they had to get out of California, did their research and decided Tennessee was the place to be. They didn't know anybody in Tennessee. They just knew that they needed to be there or be here rather um, from California. And I think that happens a lot with our viewers from Ohio and Michigan and everywhere, Illinois. Lots and lots of good, good reasons to yeah. come to Tennessee from the standpoint of a lawyer who does taxes and estate planning. Okay. And we would start with the history of Tennessee. We've had a couple of really good governors, Bredesen and Haslam. They were both businessmen and they understood. I noticed you mentioned a Democrat and a Republican both. I did, both. I did, <laughs> on purpose. But they were both businessmen and yeah. they worked really hard hard to make Tennessee an appealing place to live for individuals who are considering retirement. Okay. And those years ago, they were competing with Florida and Texas, yeah. didn't have an income tax there, didn't have an inheritance tax there, didn't have a gift tax. So over time, since Bredesen's reign, we have permanently abolished Tennessee's gift tax. Oh, really? We've abolished Tennessee's inheritance tax. We've changed the trust law in Tennessee to make it very flexible and very appealing mm -hmm. to people who are settling here and becoming residents who are updating their wills. Yeah. And they want to figure out, okay, if I have a daughter who's great and a son-in-law who might be spending all the money I might leave to my <laughs> daughter-in-law, what do I do? What kind of trust can I set up? Who could be the trustee? I see. We have an extremely flexible set of laws deliberately passed to make it possible. To make to it easier. To carry out their wishes. Mm -hmm. That's really excellent. Yes. Because I hear about, you know, I was thinking that a lot of us moved to Tennessee for geographic reasons. You hear about the halfbacks mm -hmm. from the northern states, Illinois and uh, mainly Michigan. They'll move to Florida, find that it's too far from the kids, from the family, and they move half back, which is Tennessee. Halfway back from Florida is right here where we are. But then you find out, wait, it's beautiful. It's got all the amenities of a vacation resort. It's got enough of the seasons. But now you're saying, from financial purposes, it's ideal. There are CPAs and tax attorneys all over the country who are doing this kind of analysis for people, many people of wealth, yeah. people generally, who are looking to find that place to retire. Mm -hmm. And in addition to our laws and our taxes, we, we are right now abolishing the last remnants of an income tax in Tennessee. Yeah. So next year, there is a 1% tax on certain dividends and income, and after next year, we won't have any okay. type of income tax in Tennessee. Now, what about for people without wealth? Mm -hmm. People, well, for people without <laughs> like, uh, wealth, no wealth. It, it still doesn't matter. We still have wonderful things to offer. Years ago, NPR did a study. They hired actors to come to various markets throughout the USA. Okay. And those actors had 
uh, an armful of packages and they would approach a door or they had a stamped envelope and they would drop it on the sidewalk yeah. or they would ask someone for the time yeah. and they measured the responses of the people on the street to those individuals and what they found was that in Knoxville, Tennessee, in Chattanooga, in Nashville, in the major cities in Tennessee, we were the friendliest people in the USA. Well, I will vouch for that from my own personal experience, having lived in uh, the New York suburbs, the Washington suburbs, and the Los Angeles suburbs, and now here I am in the Smoky Mountains, and it's definitely nicer. The other thing right. is that whether you're of wealth or not, oftentimes you may have a family member who truly needs a trust, a family member who can't inherit your house outright. We've got to do something to control okay. that inheritance. And those tax laws and those, the trust laws that we have are very favorable at all levels of wealth. I'm gonna to have to have you come back to tell us more, Ann McKinney. Okay. We're looking at a zoomed in picture uh, from your website and the easy way to find your website is? PassItOnWell.com. PassItOnWell. Mm-hmm. PassItOnWell.com. And that mm -hmm. gets, that's where we got this picture from. Yeah. We're zoomed in on. All right. Well, Ann McKinney, thank you so much. We'll have you on again real soon. Okay. All right. You're watching Morning in the Mountains on Mountain Fun Life.